Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 279. Actually, I should call it 278, because 278 was a disaster. It was one of those shows, whatever could go wrong, it went wrong. But, I went back and repeated the testing that I did on the previous show, 278, and the results were the same. So, they were valid. And it took me about 25 minutes to do that testing, so I decided, what the heck? You know, sometimes you make a mistake. And I decided the problem was I was being jinxed by Mr. Finger. So I got rid of Mr. Finger, and now there is no finger. So we're going to use a different porter this time, and maybe this show won't be jinxed. So anyway, I'm going to move these radios back out of the way here, and I'll show you the updated chart. Okay, here's the updated chart of where I repeated the test that I did in 278. And I only did uh, a few of the repeaters. And um, in case you're, let me back up for a second, in case you're watching this show and you were lucky enough not to watch 278 what I did in 278 is I tested these two radios let me put them back in the order they were in that test oh god what a disaster what a, Mr. Finger you're doing it to me again oh gosh here we go let me set this back up okay so, what was I saying? Oh, so what I did in the previous show, 278, is I was testing these two radios uh, to see if one was better than the other one as far as transmitting and receiving. This is the Bofang UV-B5. This is my newer radio, and here's my older radio, the UB5R. And so I was trying to see if there was any difference and the reception and test and tested them and the uh, the B5 uh, supposedly puts out 5 watts max where the 5R only puts out 4 watts max so I did some testing here at my desk and I just had a lot of problems so anyway what I did then is I repeated the test out off camera and here's the results. I tested only a few of the repeaters here in my office to see if I could reach them. The two at the top here that are in blue, both radios were able to hit that radio, I uh, hit that repeater. And they were 4.6 miles away and 5 miles away. I also tried one that was 7 miles away and neither radio was able to hit that repeater. And then I tried some further away, and of course, they weren't able to hit them either. So the conclusion, and the ones that you see that are blank, I didn't do those tests. So I only did the tests that are colored. So the results were, after I repeated again, much like the results I got in the first test in uh, show 278, both radios acted the same. They were able to hit the same repeaters and there was really no difference. So then, as I promised I would do in that previous show, I went to the park where I had previously tested the B5 and a whole bunch of antennas. But I didn't take any camera equipment because I knew, you know, it was a nice day. I knew there'd be quite a few people there walking around, and I didn't want them coming over and interrupted. Interrupt. That's easy for me to say interrupt my recording like they were doing when I did recording testing the B5 again. So, I did the test, recorded the results, and here are the results. I tested all those repeaters, some of which I don't know if the repeater is actually still working. So, that could be why I couldn't hit it. And the, and the, and the other thing is, the park is about four miles south of my house where I did the first testing and therefore it's closer to these repeaters that are south of me. So the only difference I got was that 
I, in addition to the first two repeaters I was able to hit at home, I was able to hit repeater 61, which is 6.5 miles. Both radios hit it. Okay, no difference again. And then I was able to hit repeater 81. Let me bring this a little closer to the camera. Get my finger out of the way. I was able to hit repeater 81, which the blue marks mean I was able to hit the repeater and the repeater responded to my transmission. And it's 12 miles away. Both radios worked. So no difference. So you can see from this limited testing, I found no differences in the performance of the two radios, even though the B5 is advertised of having another watt output. Now, the other thing is, when I was doing research on these radios, I somebody sent me a link to a video where the person actually had some very uh, sophisticated equipment and did some power testing of the B5 and found out that that particular radio he had, the B5, wasn't putting out the advertised 5 watts. Matter of fact, it was putting out a lot less than 5 watts. So that kind of goes along with my test results, although mine's not very scientific at all. So anyway, that's kind of my conclusion of my limited testing is I really saw no difference in the performance of the two radios in this set of testing. Again, I don't know if all these repeaters are working. Uh, you know, a lot of repeaters have gone off the air, so I don't know. Uh, based on this column, which is the testing I did months ago, different conditions, same location in the park, you can see that I picked up another repeater then here, which I didn't get today, and another one here, which I didn't get today, and another one here. So there were several repeaters that I was able to hit back then. Now granted, this was using the MFJ long antenna. Now, what I did also that doesn't show up on this chart is, actually it does show up, but there's no direct indication, is I took that antenna with me and I tried all the repeaters, both radios, using that long antenna, that extended antenna that did so good back here, the test results were exactly the same as using the stock antennas of these two radios. No difference whatsoever. So I, I just I don't know if it's just conditions or what, but um, I, I, these are the only the ones in blue are the only repeaters I was able to hit, and I was able to hit consistently one that was 12 miles away from me. So that's the results. The other thing that I observed. When I went to install the long antenna, and hold on one second. No, hold on one second. You don't have any choice, do you? I'm going to just stop it. Okay. What I'm trying to show to you is this is the, the long antenna I'm talking about. It's uh, sold by MFJ. The number is 1717S. And this is the antenna. See how long it is? I get it back far enough. Uh, there we go. Um, that's the antenna that I used in my antenna testing. Um, that is this history column here. And it did better than my testing today. It did better back then, but today it made no improvement. Now, what I was getting ready to say is, what I noticed is when I did the testing of this antenna with the 5R, I noticed that putting this antenna on, and I'll do it right now, you know, what the heck, they're watching, I'll do it, is it doesn't fit snug, which has been reported by other people, and they've showed ways of fixing that problem. I don't know if it'll show up here. 
No, it didn't show up. No, goody. My weather station always wants to tell me the time while I'm recording. But anyway, it doesn't show up on my webcam very good. But there is a slight gap that this antenna, when you screw it in all the way, it's not snug. And other people reported this. Uh, there's videos on showing you how to put a, a rubber uh, O-ring on here to, to fill in that gap. Now, what I discovered, so I'll take this off, and here is the B5 radio. And I will put this antenna on the B5, and it fits perfect. There's no gap. There's even, you can feel that there's still, you know, uh, you could turn it a few more turns uh, even beyond it being snug. There's some threads left. I think that's what I'm trying to say. So that's one advantage of the B5 is the antenna connector. And you can, I don't know if you can see it or not, but this uh, threaded part is sticking up higher, much higher than this one. This one's almost, well, it's not quite, but it's pretty near flush the case where this one's sticking up considerably and that's causing the gap. Now, I don't know if that varies from radio to radio on the 5R, but that's one thing that has concerned me about the 5R and using these non bofang antennas such as the MFJ. So anyway, I hope that kind of clears things up. And uh, bottom line, test results is it's a draw. I saw no difference in my very limited testing between the two radios, and we have fired Mr. Finger. So I hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.